Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and in today's video, I want to share with you my best tips on how to plan and prepare for a family photo shoot. holidays coming up it is also time to take some new family photos whether it's for Thanksgiving or for Christmas so today I want to share with you my best tips that I have learned from our recent family photo shoot if you're new here consider subscribing for more family tips like these and more upcoming holiday videos be sure to follow me on my Instagram and other social media to keep up to date My first tip is to think of the theme of your shoot. If you want it to be very holiday inspired or something very natural or something at home. So think of the theme of your shoot and this is a great time to go online and get some ideas and inspiration. This is also a good time to decide if you want the photo shoot to be outside or indoor. Indoor you can do shoots at home or outdoors you can find a location. As for location, I think you should pick two to three spots just in case so you have a backup in case anything else happens with that one location that you chose and then if you do go to multiple locations you have different photos to choose from having multiple locations is really important just in case something goes wrong with the location but this really happened we were supposed to go to the pumpkin patch but the road was flooded there was no way to get to the pumpkin patch it was totally flooded from the rain the day before so we just went to the nearest park or trail and just shot there and we just found a beautiful place and I'm really really happy with the outcome Number two is to pick your date and time. Depending on your photographer, you might have to pick from their set date and time. Go ahead and let your photographer know when you're free. Also, the timing of the day is very important. Ask your photographer what is the best time for him or her to shoot. Sometimes it's really early in the morning or during the times right before the sun sets. Really discuss the theme of your shoot with your photographer and she or he will let you know the best time of day to shoot. Also, don't forget to check the weather report to see if it's gonna be really sunny, really cloudy, or expect rain. So since it's the holiday season, you may really wanna check the weather to see if it's suitable for a photo shoot. Number three is photo preparation. So you want to get yourself ready to do your photos. So give yourself some time in advance, maybe two or three weeks to get everyone in your family ready. If everyone needs some haircuts or if you want to do your nails, if you need to get your eyebrows done or anything that needs to get done before the shoot. Yeah, my daughter just did her nails. But if you really want to get everyone ready for their photo shoot, like their hair or anything, then give yourself time. Having this extra time also gives you time to plan and shop for outfits if you're going to get something new for everyone. Number four is to plan and coordinate your outfit. So my tip is to have colors that go well together and colors and patterns that coordinate. You don't want to be too matchy-matchy. You don't want it to look too unnatural, but really reflect your style as a family, having outfits that really are cohesive and go well together. I also like to think of the color of the environment. You really want to match the environment that you're in so you're not sticking out. So we had an outdoor photo shoot. Make sure you dress for the weather as well so you're not uncomfortable, you're not too hot or too cold during your photo shoot. As for the outfits, make sure you wash them if need be and steam them the night before. I like to use a steamer. It's super easy and you can do that for everyone's clothes so everyone is looking nice and sharp. And make sure to just hang them on a hanger and have them put on the side ready to go in the morning of the photo shoot so you're not fussing looking around for everything and that way your clothes are nice and clean before the shoot. Also, I like to bring an extra bag. This is great, especially if you're doing a photo shoot with kids. You want to make sure that you have everything so you're prepared during the photo shoot. I like to bring things such as snacks, an extra toy that they recognize and will be familiar with just to kind of ease them if they're kind of like getting fussy and I also like to bring an extra change of clothes bring some extra accessories or props that will go well with the shoot as well as any wardrobe changes 
here is my bonus tip. What you can do is after you receive your photos from your photographer, you can go and print them. I decided to go to Walgreens and print them because they're very affordable. I just went to the kiosk and chose what size and how many I needed of each picture and got it directly off my phone. So this is a really affordable way to get really great printed photos. I do not suggest trying to print them at home and putting in a frame, but really invest in buying a good print of your photos and putting them in a frame. So here you can see that I framed them and I love how they look in our living room. It just really gives the fall, autumn, holiday vibes. And I can also use the digital photos on my computer to make e-cards or things I can share on my Facebook or send to family and friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tips video. Please leave me any tips that you have of your own because some of the best tips come from you guys, the Simple Life Society. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and share it with anyone who would benefit from these tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!